A barrage of gunshots fired right next to a Bay Area elementary school. Terrified students forced to run for cover. Those shots were fired right by Parker Elementary School at the corner of Ney and Parker Avenues in East Oakland. KPI X5 reporter Dahl Lynn is at Oakland Police Headquarters and tells us it's not the first time it's happened. This is the second time in four months kids actually ran for safety after hearing gunshots. The kids at Parker Elementary are back at the playground after another scary shooting that happened yesterday around 1.30. Surveillance video first captured seven shots. <laughs> Oakland police believe people in one car fired at the people inside this white car. It looks like the people in the white car pulled over, got out, and returned 10 rounds. It happened on Ney Avenue near Parker Elementary. You can hear the kids screaming and someone telling them to go. Third grader Mario Corrales Guerrero says it was the teachers telling them to run. His mother also heard the shots. They live near the school. I feel sad because somebody could have got hurt at the school, some kids. You can also see a postal worker hiding behind her truck. Police say no one was injured, but they called paramedics to treat the worker who was in shock. She's okay. She's fine. Just shaking up. She just kind of big scared, yeah. This is not Joe Sink's route. The woman yesterday was filling in for him. Yeah, I'm just kind of a bit scared. I'm just looking around like, you know, I hope I'm safe. I'm on the safe place. Back in May, a gunman fired shots into an apartment across from the school. That also sent the kids running for safety. It's shocking. Broad daylight. A whole bunch of gunfire, you hear some kids screaming. This is not what we want to have happen. And it certainly uh, makes the, the challenge of, of educating our kids that much more difficult. OUSD has its own police force, and the district is saying that the police officers from the district are now spending more time at Parker Elementary. Liz? A very stressful situation for those students. Doug, given the challenges in that neighborhood, though, how are their performances at school? The district says the chronic absenteeism is about 25%. Uh, that's above the district average. The overall uh, test score is also below the district average. Now, the district is quick to point out um, these shootings obviously don't help, but there's also so many other major factors that contribute to those numbers like hunger, transportation, what's happening at home. So a lot of other factors play into the numbers. A lot of challenges there. All right, Don, thank you.